so uh, I don't know really what's going on because this um, um, I'm thinking like this what's my deal with with math quantum of conscience why am I so focused on this and, and, and I see how, how his his talk about this Peter Stuyvesan uh, and I realized that it's Matt is talking about it because Stuyvesan means drifting sand and Peter means stone and so the drifting sand becomes a stone and this is why Matt is talking about Peter Stuyvesan but he doesn't know about it so what's my deal with Matt why am I why am I doing this you know I'm reaching out because I have I, I guess I still respect Matt and I respect him so I throw him this burning iron into his hand uh, and he I say catch the burning iron and you know and it's the fractal reality I'm saying look at this look at this you are expressing the fractal reality and and uh, it, it seems almost demonic how how you know and I, I'm thinking about how how would Matt see himself if, if he perceived my videos. I do believe that, or do I believe that he can perceive it because it's, it's, it's getting to the point that if he would perceive the videos, would he go mad, you know, and... And uh, because it, it means that, you know, the, the talk about the screen with the layers, all of this was just um, destiny using him to teach me about the Philosopher's Stone. And... Um, you know, and that's that, that that sounds crazy, you know, but why is the etymology on my side? Why does the etymology of Stuyvesan mean drifting sand and Peter meaning stone? Why Why is it like this? Why is truth on my side? Why am I? Infallible, infallible, I think it's called infallibility. Why? And and you know, I went I went too deep into the fractal. You know, I'm I'm too deep into it. So, um, I I look at truth, and and my truth will pick people apart that I um. I love, you know, uh, I haven't even met Matt, you know, but in some sense, I suppose I, I love him, you know, and, and still, and still I do this to him, you know, I'm throwing him this hot iron and it's totally insane, it's totally, um, It looks like I'm disrespecting him, but I'm, I, I'm 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 trying to invite him to to do to 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 uh, to do do what I do in some sense, but maybe he can't, and maybe. All the time from now on, 
I will just see through everyone as a, a, a fractal speaker or you know seeing through things to such degree that it uh, dehumanizes other people and how do I feel about that well uh, today I said two times today or maybe more I said I spoke I spoke aloud to myself why must I be right why must I be right can't I be wrong I said because yeah it feels feels uh, tough sometimes um, I will talk a bit more about the not milk and uh, you know when when um, then when Matt talks about the not milk he talks about you know it's Clinton backwards and now I just found that Clinton actually was a part of this not milk group that did um, uh, some kind of research you know or something like that and I'll, I, I will quickly quickly show it again it's it's literally literally the the not milk is is uh, and and we will see some of that supposed uh, evil also you know uh, a little taste of that. I was thinking to add some more about the lime, uh, the lime infidels, uh, but I'll not do that. It, it's it's just going to become too too much and too negative if I do that. Um, but let's quickly look at this again. Not milk. Not milk. We have a phone number where people can reach you, and what is that? It's uh, toll free. It's eight 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 not milk. Robert, thank you very much. Thank you. How do you lose so much weight? Uh, what kind of diet are you on? My, uh, the short answer is, I went on essentially a plant-based diet. I live on. Uh... And then um, Clinton will talk about how he stopped with. Uh, diary, or what is it called? The, 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 the diary products, uh, and um, um, and that, yeah, he talks a bit about calcium quickly, uh, uh, calcium in the heart and such. Uh, so yeah, Bill Clinton was a part of this not milk thing here. And we're going to continue to, to look at that actually, but first I wanted to say something more because, you know, when, when Matt talks about the, the not milk, uh, the not milk, you know, he often talks about um, Jeff Bezos and, and, uh, uh, and these people, you know. Um, so, so I was thinking that, I mean, uh, the fact that Jeff, Jeff Bezos is backing this, this not milk, um, product here, uh, the not co, um, he's, he's, uh, backing that, you know, and so I want to show you something more here. Uh, wait, wait a moment, okay. I'll, I'll show you. I quickly show you. So if we zoom in here, I'll, I'll show you something now. Because you remember. Oh, we'll, we'll we'll do that. We're going to look at. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, guys. So first we'll look at this not milk website. You know, it's a bit. Um, yeah, it looks like this. 
it's the not milk and this image just looks a bit scary to me like how they are pouring milk you know it looks like some kind of scary scary movie or something you know let's see if you can see it bigger you see oh I'll do like that <laughs> yeah so where did the milk go it was on the it was on the floor where did it go oh maybe maybe it but I have I actually have some some stuff yeah it's it went there is it two images this is the craziest thing I've seen no no it's just another variant so this looks just crazy you see the x also it's the same we have x for for um twitter you know and elon musk stuff you know and then you have i mean this just looks scary in some sense and regarding the scary what i wanted to show you is that so now we were here at not milk but notmilk.com is something else and we're going to take a look at that now so this is notmilk.com and now you know this product the, the not milk product is very successful because it seems to yeah yeah if if you are not milk you you somehow become successful because you're like materialist you know <laughs> in some sense i don't know maybe maybe i'm overly negative here but i don't think so actually um so um so this website has the same name and it's actually the website from this guy uh, that I showed earlier uh, he that had this we have a phone number where people can reach you and what is that it's uh, toll free it's 888 not milk so it's actually this guy he has this website not milk from the 90s in the uh, and soon he's saying coming soon murder by by milk so, so it's it's getting a bit scary now so you see so the so this image is a bit scary you know to me i mean it looks so odd it looks it doesn't look good you know look at this on the hands and you see, it looks like crap and then you have this like coming soon murder by milk you know well um and uh, and you get to this idea of um when you mess with these people um from from um uh, uh yeah if, if you criticize these people that is not milk backwards you know um you you disappear you know you uh, and, and this this idea about that and but so there is this weird connection to this as you can see if if i would have been earlier in my uh, in my occult research maybe i would be scared by now you see when i say this oh i would be a bit scared but i'm not now it's just it's just um, you know i'm the scary one you know uh, so yeah um, anyhow i think this is about it you know and again again it it doesn't feel entirely 
you know, I think it's a bit sad that that there is there is no reaction from Matt, even though I'm taking all of his concepts and pulling them apart, like almost as if I'm this demon in this reality that can do this, you know. And I mean, to 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 do this is almost like demonic, you know. I I, I do something here and and. In some sense, it really hurts Matt, you know, if, if he can see what I'm doing here, he's really suffering, you know, and why am I doing this if, uh, why am I doing this if, if I'm so concerned about other people and like telling you that in some sense, I, I love him, you know, because he taught me a lot and uh, said many good things, you know, and and he's funny, you know, and and, and so um, so what do I do back? I make him suffer, you know, and that's the thing. I, I I'm just I'm just totally absurd, totally um, uh, how do you say obsessed? I'm obsessed with truth, and this means that. I believe that I can I can show truth and anyone will appreciate that, you know. Anyone will appreciate me uh, showing them that um, this is why you're doing what you're doing. This is why you're talking about Peter Stuyvesant, for example. You you pick it up as a as a download, and and yeah. Um, maybe you did it um, to help me. Maybe Matt did this to help me, and this is the thing. This is the thing, and I think it's so sad. I'm, I'm, I'm always losing people. I'm always, I'm always growing from people in a way that makes me sad. First, it was um, who was it? I'm not going to go too back too 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 long back in time, but let's let's say I listen a lot to Stefan Molyneux, Molyneux you know, he, he's a philosopher guy, and then something just happened, you know, I re uh, I uh, all of a sudden, and it's almost as if the person I listen to knows that I uh, outgrew them. I outgrew them and therefore they uh, they uh, go quietly away from me and they did what they were supposed to do. This is how I feel about my teachers throughout life. They teach me something really great really really great and then they quietly walk away and if it's needed they will look silly on the way out just to make me not stay too long and um, and think about them you know and yeah. By the way, I like this version of, of the art better when uh, Peter Stuyvesant sand and the stone and that's all because that's what St Peter Stuyvesant is. Peter Stuyvesant represents the sand uh, drifting and somehow collecting into a stone, you say. Final, is this the final truth? What happens now, you know? Will everything be about limestone and milk and then the world collapses? There is always an egg. There is always an egg. 
and the pineal gland is an egg you know it, it's one of the way to see the philosopher's stone in alchemy and you know that we are birthed from an egg physically and in some sense the egg breaks the egg breaks because something is outgrowing the, che the, the, the shell something can feel the inner border of the shell of of the of the egg your you or me inside the egg feeling the border of the world and pushing the egg from the inside so that it breaks and so yeah and so what how how does it present itself that you push on the inner uh, border of of the egg shell how how can you see it well some form of cons consistency some form of simple thing the last the last thing you feel before you crack the egg is that you're closed into into something and it's um, it's shrinking the surrounding is shrinking and and everything is is just about the egg you can only sense the egg after a while and the egg is made the eggshell is made from calcium carbonate again yeah it is uh, if you take an egg the eggshell is 100% calcium carbonate limestone and so lime yeah Maybe that's why the word lime is just everywhere. And this is why the stone is everywhere. All of reality collapsing into, into one truth uh, that uh, destroys everything. To create a new complexity. Something new being born. But I desperately reach out the hand to people and their theories about things that I mean people that I always had huge respect for and I still do since I I still do videos for for Matt here you know I still do videos for him but he doesn't reply he doesn't email he doesn't he doesn't do anything he doesn't want to know about this and I thought I thought for a second that maybe he's taken offense that I'm using the art of Bill Bill you know Bill's art and he feels that Bill's art is his art but I honestly believe that Matt is about that kind of thinking because Bill's art, uh, Bill Lauderhoe's art is his own art and in some sense uh, Bill is lending the art to, to Matt to help his presentation so I think he, he realizes that the art is not his you know but that's one way that he could be offended and simply ignore because he's totally angry that I use the art of Bill but I don't think so okay I think 
I think it's just weird that that um, uh, you know I'm 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 winning this debate. You know I'm winning this this little occult uh, battle between the not milk and the not milk you know the not milk is is growing in significance and jeff jeff bezos is is uh, is a part of that you know uh, and so is bill clinton as as, as i showed and uh, the clinton fan family is a part of this uh, as you know and um, uh, he, he was a part of the not milk project you know and um, and yeah and, and this thing here with the murder murder by milk makes me think of again how the fractal will claim it claims life you know it takes life and and puts it into the machine and and re and transmutes the energy of loved life forms into and and I I say that often because that's how I how I see it transmutes the energy into new things that that uh, happen you know. Well, well, so, but if we think like a normie, let's think for an, like a normie for a while that we can, we do that very, very quickly here because we know that this is not about the normie, you know, but let's, let's think like a normie for a while. Uh, the, the murder by milk means that the milk is, is simply unhealthy, uh, according to their absurd theory. Uh, milk is unhealthy because of this and that, you know, and um, yeah, but if you think, if you take into account what this really is about, the murder by milk becomes uh, the the killing by the philosopher's stone and this correlates with my own observation about you know and this is also why why i'm trying to change into the love talk you know if i'm truly in control of all of this world do i really want it to be a like mass murder free for all where um, everything dies and and uh, um, and it's just full of suffering you know no I don't think so right you it, it. Of course not, right? All of this pursuit for for truth that started a long time ago was guided by the drive to find the evil and I finally found the evil um, and I found it very many times. I was very good at finding evil using truth and then I realized that the evil is inside myself. I realized that my worst nightmare is myself, literally. The monster in my nightmare is myself.
and in some sense I can see it as clear as day in this so is in this video you know that maybe this power that I have come to the cost of being a bit demonic you know but um, yeah uh, but I, I I still have a good intention I believe at the same time I'm trying to help Matt to evolve his thinking and it's connected to a lot of suffering because when you talk about things like Stoivesom and Peter Stoivesom and how those um, yeah I think Matt sa said something like when you smoke them you could get any women and you could get everything you wanted you know you got everything you wanted when you smoked Peter Stuyvesan but that's a riddle you know the riddle is you get everything you want if you let the sand drift into a stone it's poetry Matt is making unconscious pro -po poetry to be understood by by me why else why else is he helping me is Matt a little angel helping me to find back to find my way back to to God's side you know I'm, I'm watching this series, um, God, uh, the series called God, the Devil and Bob, and it's Bob from, from Detroit, and yeah, it feels a bit like looking at myself, to be honest, um, I share many qualities that Bob have. Um, yeah. So I'm in this fractal and I'm trying to reach out to people like Matt. And I'm scared. I'm scared and sad. If I come to realize that this image that I saw for a very long time was only a, some kind of fractalized mirror image, you know, uh, could could the entire being be like that, you know? And from my perspective, you know, I don't know, you know, I'm I'm confused and. And um, my research into truth has made me into, you know, partly some kind of demon, you know. But I also have a good intention, um, I believe at least. And um, what, what do you do when you have power, you know? How do you handle it? What do you do? I don't know, you know, I'm trying my best, but it's hard, you know, um, normally you have someone to look up to, I want, I want someone to look up to, I want, I want to idealize someone, I, I idolize, idolize someone, you know, I want to 
I want someone to, to teach me things. And I'm not finding it in, in, in the way that I do things, in the way that I do my stuff, you know. I'm not finding, um, I, I, I want to have this teacher, you know. And I always found it. And it's like Matt was the last teacher. And I'm trying to wake him up to, to how things really are. And, you know. And I'm throwing this hot iron at him, and he's burning his hands. He's burning his, his, uh, and it's and it's painful, you know. And he has to realize that what he's doing is is was a download, you know. It was it was a a download that felt very good because it was poetic. It was poet a poetic download, and uh, um, the last time I had my nightmare with the nightmare mon monster, which is it doesn't look like myself, you know, the monster. It looks, um, it's just a big mouth, you know, it's a big mouth and it's a very playful, my, my, my other side, it, it's extremely playful, it's like, it doesn't look like a something, something bad when you look at it, but then you realize that if it, if it can't play in a good way, it will suddenly become angry and it will devour something the, the person it will devour something and I had I had these dreams where where um, I were alone with this monster you know and it devoured me many times so I devoured myself in this dream uh, uh, so many times and it was so scary and, and I got a bit used to it, you know, uh, but it was extremely scary because I always tried to, to play with it, you know, and a normal nightmare you, you can get control over. But when you have a nightmare with yourself having this, this monster, you know, um, uh, you cannot control that because it's in your it's deep within you uh, it's deep within me this this being in my dream is is something that i have inside of me you know and it's a real person but it it's a playful immature uh, monster that devours basically and um like a child, but not a child, but you know, it's playful like a child and um, sensitive like that. And so, um, yeah, uh, so yes, then, then first I was alone with this monster and then suddenly i had other dreams um where it was me and other people it was maybe two, let's say 15 people playing a game with this monster and it and they didn't know that they had to play along that and maybe they even enjoyed the game who 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 stayed the, lo the, the longest well it wasn't really the person that played the most with the, the monster and it wasn't either the person that played the least with the monster 
but it was the, the, the people that realized that what they had to deal with, you know, and and um, I guess I have it here, you know, in this world now, so it will use its its playfulness and and you know yeah it's almost getting real you know how this how Matt's theories are co-opted by by the fractal patterns that I'm finding that are like it's like demonic intelligence you know um how i can find this is like impossible and um and that's probably my unconscious mind is telling me hey this is this is something that you should look at and and yeah um Anyhow, the last time I had a dream with this this monster, it uh, yeah, it devoured one of my loved ones that I have close to me, uh, horrible, and uh, but it it uh, didn't devour me. It 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 kept its distance from me. It didn't even try. You see, it's weird. And um, that's that's a new thing. It's because it always tried to devour me, this this, this uh, beast, you know. Um, but it didn't any longer. And it's almost as if, you know, maybe. Maybe it can can only devour the human part. Maybe I'm not human anymore, you know, in a sense, in my mind, you know. And and so it's not it's nothing left left to eat, you know. So whatever, whatever. Um. Yeah. I will end this video now. 40 minutes, 43 minutes. It's amazing. Amazing. What a long video. Um again, I'll just show you the, the websites again. We have we have the notmilk.com. This is notmilk.com. As you can see, and notmilk.com has this. You know, it's almost as if I mean, it's 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 obviously unrealistic and like a bit demonic. This, right? I could have scary music. This is almost like having. You're almost looking at the grunge now. You know the. The movie The Grunge, but it's real, you know. This is real what you're watching, and it makes it more uh, more scary, you know. And um, I want again. I, I'm just saying. I want to admire some someone that teaches me I, I really it's been like this for all my life but now it feels like um i want something you know i and um reality will turn uh, to what i want because i am infallible i'm infallible i i cannot be wrong 
so if I say something that's simply how it is you know and um, and uh, and this is why Jeff Bezos is backing not milk it's it it's because of me you know um, and uh, Matt Matt um, What what came for first the 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 chicken or the egg? Did did I did I manipulate Matt with retrocausality to to teach me this, or did Matt? It's like chicken and egg, you know. And I I I really. I don't really like being at the top, you know, being, I don't really like to be the best. I have never really, um, I, I've never been the best, you know, and I think I'm the best at this stuff and it's not that fun, you know, I would like to be second best or something like that. I mean, uh, yeah, okay, we have seal, sea lion, you know, seal lion. And the problem is, yeah, he's he's very smart, and I I, I have I have a feeling that it it, it could be, um, yeah yeah he, he knows a, mo a lot. Sea lion, sea lion. If you if you're watching this, maybe you do. Please uh, please don't make me feel alone in this. You know you 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 you. You you can do a lot of stuff. Please do it. Come on, man. You know. Um, I don't know. It it feels a bit lonely, you know, because I um, this stuff is picking apart uh, Matt's theories and and, and like packaging and packaging patch packet. Packaging, you know, packaging. Do you say like that? I think so. Package. It's be it's becoming a package, and inside that package, of all of his theories, is the philosopher's stone. In all of it, from the screen to to the different things to not milk and. And um, Peter Stuyvesant, you know, it's all, it's all, a, it's all a riddle. I think you're all doing it for me, actually. You, you don't, you don't know it. You, you don't know. You guys don't know, but you're, you're doing everything for me. It's, it's all, it's all to help me. But I don't really feel that, you know. I don't really feel like you're helping me because I just don't feel human anymore, you know? I don't feel like a human. What's the point? But okay, whatever, guys. I'll not be too too negative. Um, I I um, I I will. Uh, I'll just end this video now. It's too long, fifty minutes. What the fuck? Uh, maybe I'll put some image there at the end. Let's see if I find something. Um. By the way, I saw a bit of spider sp spirit today. The spider spirit is uh, growing stronger. This is good for, for Zuckerberg, if you didn't know. I'll place a heart at the end to make us happy and hopeful about the future. To not become too demonic, you know. Um, let's not get too demonic. Maybe, you know, 
yeah I, I think I think it's like that right to avoid to, to, to focus so that I don't become a demon okay I have to focus on the heart on, on the love you know and uh, let's end with that and have a good day bye bye